I'm Guillermo. For first time years, we retired in 2018, sold everything, packed our car, and decided to travel the world looking for our paradise to call home. We make videos showcasing low cost of living, expert friendly cities around the world. We have a requirement checklist and we put them to the test. We started with our first home base in Guadalajara, Mexico. We spent three years traveling and renting there. And now we're moving to Lisbon, Portugal as our home base number two. We will continue to make Seeking Paradise videos throughout cities in Europe and beyond. This new vlog series is bonus information intended for expats looking to move specifically to Portugal and help them understand the process. From residency requirements, timelines, the rental home search and process, our first 30 days, our set appointments, neighborhood reviews, transportation, and more. So let's start with vlog number one, applying for Portuguese residency. After deciding on Portugal, if you haven't seen our video on why we chose it, check out the video link here. The next step was to determine the type of residency visa that we want to apply for. The tourist visa, limit of 90 days out of every 180 days. The golden visa, which is residency by investment. D2 work visa, sponsored by employer or self-employed. Residency by family reunification visa. If you move to Portugal to join a close family member who is either a resident in Portugal or a citizen. Residency by marriage. D7 or Type 1 visa, good for retirees or foreigners living off investment income. Student visa, studies lasting longer than a year at all educational levels from secondary school upwards. In our case, we want to stay in Lisbon for at least two years, so we need to apply for a long-term visa. The Golden and D7 visas seem to be the obvious choices for us. Due to recent changes to the Golden Visa Scheme that exclude Lisbon, Porto, and other high-density coastal towns for property investments, and also the high cash requirements, we decided against the Golden Visa. Plus, we don't want to commit to a purchase without living in the area first. We believe that income from our rental properties in the U.S. and our stock and crypto investments should be enough to qualify for residency with a D7 visa. The D7 is the most common residency visa for U.S. citizens and other third country nationals. It's considerably faster and less expensive to obtain than the Golden Visa. If you are retired, financially independent, self-employed or working remotely for a company outside of Portugal, or living on a passive income from investments, real estate rentals, and or a business. We like the idea of open travel throughout 26 Schengen countries, but also the options to visit Eastern Europe, Africa, and the closer proximity to Asia. We are free to live in Portugal, get a job, or even open a business if we want. We can also take part in healthcare and education opportunities. We'd like to take advantage of this to learn Portuguese, since the High Commission for Migrations offers free Portuguese lessons via their Learn Portuguese platform. As a new legal resident of Portugal, you may qualify for the NHR tax regime. The non-habitual resident tax regime offers foreign residents special tax treatment on incomes for a period of 10 years and a tax exemption on almost all foreign sources of income. Most of the required documentation when applying from Mexico is very similar to the U.S. requirements. We have all the links and information in the video description below. So, you're going to need... An application for a national visa is submitted by mail. The signature needs to be notarized. A passport, passport size color photos with white background, a notarized copy of the main passport for U.S. applicants in the USA, and any other visas previously granted from other countries. If not a U.S. citizen, you will need proof of legal status. Personal statement declaring the reasons why you are seeking residency in Portugal. Proof of financial means or proof of sufficient funds. In Mexico, the embassy requires the last three months bank statements or proof of pension with a letter of amount received monthly or proof of salary or scholarship for the period of stay. Proof of a funded bank account in Portugal and a Portuguese NIF number, an individual tax identification number used in Portugal. Copy of outbound flight reservations to Portugal. But make sure your tickets are either refundable or they can be changed in case of visa denial, delays, etc. If applying from the U.S., an Apostle FBI criminal record report is required. Or, if left in the original, an open envelope, it does not need to be Apostle. Applying from Mexico requires a criminal record report at the federal level from your country of origin or from Mexico if you have resided there for more than one year, and it must be Apostle. 
a signed release request form for a Portuguese criminal record check provided by the Foreigners and Borders Service. The form is provided by the consulate. Proof of private health insurance coverage or travel insurance with medical benefits and COVID coverage valid for Portugal. You need an amount equal or greater than 30,000 euros, including repatriation expense during the entire period of stay in the country. Proof of six months accommodation in Portugal, either a property title deed, a rental agreement, letter of invitation, or terms of responsibility form, and or property loan agreement. We also read that some consulates in the U.S., like San Francisco, have been requiring a one-year lease. Copy of marriage certificate and children's birth certificates when children are also applying. Apostled if being used in Portugal for family reunification or school registration. Documents need to be produced within the last 90 days for the visa application and should not be older than six months for the CEF appointment. After providing all the mentioned documents to your local consulate, they will submit your application to the Portuguese Immigration or CEF office, the department responsible for processing and issuing residency visas. Once your visa is granted, you will receive a stamp within your passport, which is valid for 120 days to enter Portugal, and a CEF appointment is scheduled in Portugal to complete the final step, which is getting your temporary residency permit. The temporary residency permit grants you residency in Portugal for two years from the date your permit is granted and is renewable in subsequent three-year terms. After five years residence in Portugal, you can then apply for a permanent residency permit. We will cover that topic in five years. Useful tips. Passports must not expire in less than six months and have at least two blank adjacent pages for the visa stamp. We paper clipped the pages together in our passports as we only had two adjacent pages left. You must have your NIF before opening a bank account. Expect three to six weeks for a response from Seth after applying. The American and Friends PT Facebook group is the best source of information where you can find everything you need to know about applying for a visa, things to do right after you arrive to Portugal, and more. Reading most of the expat experiences with this application process, many did it on their own using the information in the forums and plenty others outsourced to local agencies. Since we had done it on our own three years before, from the U.S. to Mexico, we were confident in ourselves to handle the application on our own. But the process took a few turns against us, not only dealing with the typical bureau crazies of Mexico, but also mistakes of our own. We'll be telling you about all this in our next vlog, applying for a D7 visa and Portugal move timeline. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss our next one.